I think the biggest part of it is living in the bush in the yeah. wild for four years when you're filming and you know find it took us a year and a half to find the star of the film mm -hmm. um, and when you're on a long shoot like that it's you're living in a small group very remote mm -hmm. so it it takes an awful lot of dedication from a small team I mean, we were looking for her we were looking for a charismatic female which is you know in an elephant is a matriarch because it's very much a a, a female leadership story and we were looking for you know the ideal elephant for a long time and then eventually after about 18 months we came back into camp one day um, and there she was she was literally 20 yards behind camp sleeping under a tree with her family and when we were shown her you know um, one of our staff called Ms. Amos Silly came up very excited he said look you must see, see the elephant we've got here and when we were shown her we just thought you know, she had a, a, a tiny baby in the herd um, she was there with those magnificent tusks and we just thought you know this is this is our star. I think the, for me one of the biggest challenges is over such a long period is holding on to your vision and your initial idea and just every, so much comes at you from practical problems through to other people's opinions and just holding that vision and just keeping going working towards it come what may whatever the challenges are. You know, we'd always been somewhat in awe of elephants because they are just extraordinary sentient animals. Um, but I think it was, you know, when you spend that length of time with a family, really getting to know them, you get to know them not as a family, but as individuals, and they all have different personalities. And I think for us, it was just seeing the power of the matriarch and how she kept the family together um, that we could never have imagined when we started. There's just so many amazing stories which sort of reflect... Um, they reflect more than just wildlife stories. They reflect... They almost reflect our place in the world. and. You, you can tell you, making them you're almost you're going out there you're exploring your understanding and then you're communicating these stories that you've you you unearth mm -hmm. to the rest of the world and it there's just nothing somehow for me there's just nothing better than that I mean, Africa is one of those places where you know once once you get there and it gets into your into your blood mm -hmm. you know we've tried time and time again to think oh we must do a project somewhere else um, but we never do we never leave we were, we're slow sort of enmeshed in it now I mean we you know we've been there for 30 years mm -hmm. living in the wild we brought our children up in the wild um, so it's all of it is just totally it's sort of second nature mm -hmm. and I think there's something about you know when you're out on the plains and you've got acacia trees there you've got a little bit of standing water you've got sort of high ground it speaks to something very deep inside all of us, I think, because essentially that's where we all originated from. Mm -hmm. And it feels, when you get there, it just feels like going home. Yeah.